Paul, a belated welcome to Plymouth Albion. How have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been great. Um, all the boys have been supportive from the off. Um, yeah, been really well welcomed. Uh, debut last weekend, mm -hmm. uh, obviously against Richmond, started well with yeah. a win. Brilliant work for Gus's try as well, and just a brilliant <laughs> way to start. Thanks. Yeah, what do I have to say about that? Um, yeah, to be honest, just come away with a win, first game. Um, yeah, I just, I just was really happy that I made an impact uh, from the off. Um, I think we'd come off a, a streak of, of losing games, and like to get help get the boys back on track was was special. And I think I was just shocked at like the sit, the sheer number of like supporters that were there. It's a it's a thriving club, and yeah, I'm excited to be a part of it. Have you found kind of like the the bond within the squad? Uh, it's it's, yeah, it's it obviously quite quite tight knit and and easy to slot into. It is very tight knit, and to be fair, like everyone has been welcome welcoming. Like I'm terrible with names, and people <laughs> like will just tell me their name over and over again, which is great. And yeah, I've been invited to a few socials. So in terms of that, yeah, it's going really really well. Obviously, Nat One Rugby is your first kind of real taste of it. Yeah. Uh, we, we know obviously the, the quality that's in that's in Bucks Rugby as well. But mm -hmm. is it? Have you kind of found it easily transferable? Obviously, you've only played one game in that one, so it's difficult yeah, yeah, to yeah. compare. But yeah, uh, you, you seem to obviously made yourself quite comfortable already in in in, in Nat One Rugby with with last weekend's performance. Yeah. Um, yeah, there definitely are some transferable skills. Like in Bucks, it's just a super quick game, so having to always be alert, having to always be ready to go at any moment in time. Uh, even even on a bit of a boggy pitch, um, came in came in clutch last week. Um, and in terms of physicality wise, yeah, it, it is a little bit of a step up. But this is my first taste of of men's rugby, so I expected that. Uh, this weekend, obviously against Mosley, an away trip for ourselves, and, and a chance, like also to I guess to build on on last weekend's win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one thing that we've spoken a lot about is backing up our away games. Um, we've come off a really good home win, as we spoke about before, and I think to really consolidate us getting back into the position that we want to, like this game against Birmingham is is big. And um, on a personal note, uh, it's going to be one of the first, one of the few games that my sister's watched. She's at Union Birmingham, so yeah, I want to put on a show. I want to get the dub there too. Yeah, shout out to your sister. Yeah, um, shout out to my sister. Shout out to Paula. For um, <laughs> four games left, obviously this season, including this one. Uh, yeah. Just so, so like. How excited are you for this run in as we sort of battle for that kind of top four, top three in, in that one? Yeah, um, I think for me, as this is my my first experience playing that one, I'm taking everything game by game. Um, try not to think too much about who we're going to play, what position they're in in the table. It's all about, you know, how can we beat the next team? So how can we beat Birmingham? And like, you know, we've had, we've got a really good game plan set and I'm just excited to deliver that. And then we'll think about it next week, next week. Nice one. Best of luck this weekend, Paul. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that.